Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, in my last video, I was explaining how you could speed up uh, fast API endpoints when endpoint invokes um, hugging face uh, API, like uh, model loading or inference, because in this case, um, the whole endpoint is blocked until operation is complete. So I was showing the way how you could start multiple uh, workers running uh, hugging face endpoints through parallel uh, workers, and this uh, way um, you could serve more concurrent users at the same time. And this one more option, you can use uh, background task in uh, fast API, and uh, you could uh, delegate this long-running task to be executing uh, to be executed with um, background worker. And uh, if this background worker would run uh, hanging face API. Uh, the endpoint still would not be blocked and you'll be able to execute other uh, endpoints running on the same application that are not calling uh, Hugging Face API, like getting statistics or some other stuff, and uh, those those things would run uh, without waiting until this long operation would, would complete. So let's see how it works. Um, in this case, here I have the uh, sample endpoint from Sparrow, Sparrow Arrow Solution for document data extraction from images, PDFs, and so on. Uh, all the source code is on the GitHub, and below the video, I'll put a URL where you could navigate to our GitHub repo and you could uh, explore the code and, and, and get all the code, clone it, and run on your own environment. So this uh, uh, one of the endpoints is uh, evaluate. This endpoint is uh, the task of this endpoint is to evaluate the fine-tuned model uh, to get the accuracy of this model based on a test set to see how well this fine-tuned model performs on a data which is unseen uh, during training or validation. Right, and this task runs uh, for maybe ten minutes or so. Uh, on CPU, on, on GPU it's way faster, but now we run it on CPU. And uh, I actually run this task in the background, and I'll show that until this task runs, then I still able to execute other tasks for the same API, which are not invoking uh, Hugging Face API. I'm using Sparrow key over here, but this is um, a generated number and a generated key, and it's being used uh, just to make sure that people are not invoking this um, endpoints on on a demo instance of this application which runs on a hanging face spaces so resources there are quite limited and i'm using it just for demo purposes and for that reason i'm using sparrow key uh, obviously this is this key is um, regenerated and um, later if you'll try to use this key to execute this endpoint it would not work because there'll be a new key just just saying Okay, so let's uh, let's see the environment. So this is a spaces environment. So this is where application is hosted, and uh, I execute uh, endpoint. I make a call, and I say I see that uh, it says that uh, the task was started in the background. Okay, if I go over here to the um, application to the log, I see that uh, the message is printed saying that handling evaluation request with working worker. PAD1, and after 10 or 15 minutes, this task will be completed. And, and in the meantime, if I uh, close this one, and if I go to uh, another endpoint which returns statistics, and this endpoint doesn't uh, involve any heavy logic, it doesn't call any hanging face API, <clears throat> and it doesn't touch model or whatever, just um, fetching some uh, historical data from, from the application. I execute and I get instant instant response over here. Then I have another one uh, which gets statistics for the training events. So if I execute one, I get inst instant response. And this this means that uh, okay, this this task uh, the heavy task is still runs in the background. And you see those two other get requests were handled successfully while this. Uh, uh, long running task still runs in the background. Yeah, so this is quite useful and yeah, it helps to optimize performance of your application, of your application if you know that there are some of the requests uh, taking longer time, then you can make them as a background tasks and other requests just run as a nor no normal requests. And probably also you could add a check, uh, you could see 
if uh, at least one background task already running, then you don't allow to start another background task in order not to block uh, your application by submitting background tasks that uh, would not be able to execute and would wait until the first task is executing. Yeah, and if I switch back, switch to the development environment, I see that it's very easy to define background task in the Fast API. You just import background tasks uh, object from Fast API. And if I scroll down over here, uh, I see the endpoint for the evaluate task, right? The one that we invoked just a moment ago. And as the first uh, parameter for the function for this endpoint, we, we have a parameter of type background tasks. And this would automatically add support to this fast API endpoint to run as a background task. And then over here, just one line, uh, we use uh, a parameter and we specify add, uh, we call add task function over here and we provide the function, our function name that we want to invoke in the background and we pass in, in, in a sequential order all the parameters that we want to pass to our function. So invoke, invoke evaluate is this uh, function over here and we check the Sparrow key and finally we invoke um, uh, run evaluate donut. This is this um, uh, heavy uh, function that um, uh, works with hanging face API and uh, gets test data and evaluates the model. So if we open it over here, Uh, and this is the this is the function, and we can see that we call prepare model uh, function here, where all the <coughs> uh, model processor and data set are being loaded from Hugging Face infrastructure. Next, we uh, loop for, for the data set and and and, and uh, evaluate our model on uh, each uh, element of the data set on each invoice in this case, and so on. Yeah, and if I switch back, I see that it still runs and uh, the background task still runs. And if I uh, execute uh, statistics endpoint, it uh, executes fast. So thanks for watching. And uh, the, uh, the goal of this video was to uh, give you a hint, explain uh, how you could um, uh, structure your fast uh, API uh, endpoints in. Uh, uh, proper way in terms of the performance and how you could execute long tasks as a background task. And the uh, huge thing is that background task um, doesn't block your application uh, while the background task runs. You still can execute uh, um, uh, other endpoints uh, that do not require any uh, heavy logic and uh, that execute fast. Otherwise, if you would execute this uh, evaluate task, like in my case, uh, as a normal uh, normal function, then it would block the entire application and all other requests like to get statistics uh, would not be available. Uh, they would wait until the main, uh, the first call uh, for the evaluate is being completed. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.